pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. <coughs> Okie dokie, Miss Miyagi. Hey, Ben. Big Ben is in the house. What's up, brother? Yeah, so, um, what's up, Tivo, brother? Tivo, man. I got some two by fours here, man. We got to do some cutting. Obviously not today. Nasty, rainy, just torrential rain. I don't know if this is like Harvey. The remnants. The remnants of Harvey. The, 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 the remnants. 94 GT. The round one works the best. I got a nice square blade that really gets the job done. So, anyway, what I'm doing, just obviously, probably for tomorrow sometime, but, like, you know what? I did a video yesterday from the Home Depot. Got a lot of questions about the Diablo blades. This is the blade I kind of use on every circular saw. Obviously, this is the rigid I took off. As soon as I got my rigid circular, the Gen 5X brushless, seven and a quarter, took this blade off. Now I'm taking the Milwaukee off. I just got this circular saw. Um, actually, I didn't just get it. I had it for a couple months, but took that one off, and I'm going to be putting on the Diablos. Now, what's great about this, guys, and the reason I'm kind of doing this for you, too, because well, the well consensus... And I think it might have been even yesterday's video. No, I think it was last week. Uh, we were looking at some circular saw blades. And I'm like, yeah, what do you like? You know, what, what's your favorite? Just, and, you know, people watched it. And they always probably had 30 comments. And, you know, actually, no, it wasn't. It was on Instagram. My bad. Instagram. It was on Instagram. So Diablo, I'm telling you, probably out of like 30 comments, 28 of them, if not 29 of them, were the Diablo. But... What's cool is I want to give you guys a heads up because I'm telling you the holiday season is just around the corner. Um, I went through two packs of these already. So this is my second pack. Um, the first pack is, is done. Like I said, one's on my rigid. And one um, was on... Well, one, yeah, actually both were on my rigid. One was on my rigid and I, I destroyed it, used it up. So I had to put another one on. But, you know... My 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 point is, and I hope you guys comment. Hey, all county, Eric. Why look at all these comments? I don't know. They're not popping up. We got all county snow pros. Eric Lightner. Hey, man. Good to see you coming in the chat, man. I haven't seen you before, Eric. I've seen Robert before. I've seen Jeffrey Chad. I think before Kings Lawn Care, ninety four Jude Two. I mean, all these people. Let's 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 hit the like button, boys. Noah Sorensen, what's up? Waiting for you to get a two for one pack. That's kind of what I'm getting at. And hey, what's up, Jay Filet? Ray Hernandez, what's going on, brother? But anyway, um, yeah, so I want to keep you in mind in this. Now, I'm glad I'm, I'm doing this live because I'm sure one of you guys, I can't remember if this was $9.99 or $14.99, but. These are 40 tooth, 40 teeth, tooth, 40, yeah, you know what, I'm going to say 40 tooth, I don't think 40 teeth sounds right, and I'm not going to say it, because, you know, when you watch Toolboss, you get a lot of, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, so I'm trying to like make a change, oh good, Ray Hernandez, 94 GT Coupe, Awesome. So they're they're backing me up, man. They're saying nine ninety nine. They're backing me up. I was gonna say maybe it was fourteen ninety nine, but either way, if these were nineteen ninety nine, you know, ten dollars a piece, um, you're not gonna find a better blade than the, than these Diablos. Obviously, they have the Diablo Demon, and I'm gonna be honest with you. 
this might be better. I was thinking about putting this one on, but I don't know, man. I probably will. You know what? But anyway, you know, this is a 60 tooth, you know, for that real nice, fine, smooth cut. And for you guys who don't really know much about circular saw blades, because I always get those comments, or any kind of type of blade, you know, the more teeth, the better in certain situations. You know, if you're cutting sloppy wood, you know, old wood, you know, you can just use your 24 teeth. But, you know, when you're kind of doing that furniture, or you're doing really soft wood, um, you know, the more teeth, the better. Just cuts nice and smooth. So I got a 60 tooth here, and I'll put the link up, and I know a couple of us talked about this on Instagram. I mean, I got this for like $12.99. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one blade, but you guys know, man, once you start getting into the, the 60 tooth, the 80 tooth, you know, obviously with these seven and a quarter, 60 teeth is, you know, they probably go up to 80. Um, but, you know, the price, I mean, you, you want like an, an 80 tooth, 12 inch circular um miter saw blade now you can spend like 70 80 bucks 90 bucks so johnny burkett what's up brother hard knocks in the house i'm trying to be quiet here because i've got people walking here man and like, who is this freaking who's this knucklehead who's this weirdo and then hey i got my um set guys Mimi. Love it. Nice little set here. I think it was like six bucks. But, um, what's up, fellas? Abel, what's up? It's been raining a lot here. Yeah, two days in a row, TiVo. I got some in yesterday morning, some work, but, um, you know, kind of just been doing equipment stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, you know, comment. Let me know what type of blades you use, how many teeth, you know, what size tooth, you know, so I'm saying it's so weird. What, what, what kind of blade and how many teeth do you like on your circular saw blades? And you can do your miter saw blades, whatever you want to do. Here's my six and a quarter on my um, DeWalt. Again, this was that $2.99 kit. It's a nice, that, that DeWalt is so freaking light. Um... You know, I use it, and I love that Porter Cable one, too. Uh, the Porter Cable 6.5. Super duper light. You know, to be honest with you, and that's what I'm saying, too. You know, a lot of the times, these 6.5 inch blades are more money than the 7 and a quarter. They're just harder to kind of just find. Or they don't make as much of them, I don't know. But you'll find 7 and a quarter. You know, a lot of the, all the corded circular saws, usually 7 and a quarter. Um... You know, when these lithium-ion circular saws first came out for the first five or six years, everything was six and a half. Now, some of these brushless circular saws are coming out and everything's seven and a quarter. And, you know, I might even throw this on my miter saw, man, my, my rigid seven and a quarter. Just see how it goes. I think the arbor is the same size. But yeah, this is like I said, twelve ninety nine. I couldn't pass it up. And one of the guys on Instagram, he's actually has a pretty big following. Um, he loves this blade, so I think I'm probably gonna do it. A DeWalt on a Milwaukee Fuel circular saw. We'll have some videos of that, and I'm gonna do the Milwaukee nail gun coming up. Um, you know, on these rainy days, I'm just kind of getting everything, and I uh, mailed a couple. Well, I didn't mail them. I, I, I filled them out. I filled them out. I got magnets coming. You believe it? Magnets? And I got an email the other day saying, get 53-inch magnets for 28 bucks or something like that. So I ordered some magnets so you can stick them on your refrigerator. Again, don't be afraid to put these on your kids' notebooks at school. Let the kids know. You know, so it was. Yo, Dojo, what's up? Do you have the Irwin Marathon blade? I had, I used to only use Irwin blades, Noah. You know, you're talking 10 years ago. Irwin's, um, they're sold a lot at Lowe's. So I used to use a lot of them on my miter saws and my circular saws. I haven't used the Marathon, to be honest with you. 
Um, and Erwin, as you know, got bought by Stanley Black and Decker, the parent of Dewalt. Sure, to get suspended from school with that Nard Knox. They're gonna get. You kidding me? They're gonna get straight A's. Cause the teachers know, man. When will you do a video on the Milwaukee M18 Impact? Um, I got a little bit, but I want to do something special with it. So I kind of just. I will have it up. Hopefully by this weekend. If not, um. You know, within the next 10 days. I got something also pretty cool. I put a picture of it on Instagram. I'm really excited. I am so excited. And I put on my Instagram the most important tool that I use six to eight hours a day. I can't do anything without their uh, Milwaukee's power source. Yeah, I got Makita's power source, uh, which is very good. I like it. I like the Milwaukee better. It's just smaller. And I'll be honest with you, I don't see any... Di I, I have the rigid, the rigid one's terrible. Um, I don't like the rigid one. Half the time, it, it's just not charging. Uh, the cord comes out. I, I just don't like it. And their batteries are freaking monsters. And then we got... Uh, we're going to do a little video uh, checking out the insides of this rigid coming up too. I took the thing out. We're going to... I, I don't even know. I got to check. I, I, I'm pretty sure... Now again, this comes with a three foot heavy duty cord. This is a monster cord. This isn't it, but this has been like one of the best cords I have ever seen. But I used this at the synopsis because again, my phone was dying. So they let me borrow one and I was like, wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. But power wise, this is a 2.1 amp. Uh, the one I have now, there's been, this is like the third generation of these power sources. Um, you know, the first generation, I'll do, I don't want to, we'll, we'll talk about that, but anyway, let's talk about the blades, but anyway, just a short little vid, and if you use the rigid, I'll be honest with you, I never even used this blade, so I don't know if it's any good, obviously I have it here, I'm probably, like I said, going to use these two, well, I'm, I'm going to use this one, I think, on the Milwaukee, and then I'm just going to start using these, I'm starting to, like, hoard and it's like, all right, I got enough kind of blades here. I got like, you know, but I had to buy this and I'm like such a weirdo. I'm like I should have bought like two or three of these, man, for like 12 bucks. But I don't even know if the price went up. Like I said, I'll check um, Amazon and I'll show you what the price is for it. But, you know, you get a 60 tooth blade for like 12 bucks. Um, that's pretty damn good. Barbie. All right, cool, Bobby. Bobby's used... The 60 tooth flex bolt, um, seven and a quarter blade, and he likes it. He likes it, likes it, likes it. Thin curve. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use this man. And I, I use this miter saw too. Uh, miter, oh my god, I use the circular saw too. It cuts like a freaking dream. Uh, it's probably one of the best cutting circular saws I've ever used. It's like, oh my freaking God. But it's it's heavy, man. It's heavy. You know? And, you know, like, to be honest with you, I love the six and a half one. I, I, I love my DeWalt. I love my Porter cable. Because, you know, most of the time I'm cutting two by fours or, sheet, uh, or uh, plywood. And it really doesn't matter. What size, if it's six and a half or seven and a quarter, they're both going to cut it. Um, and they do a pretty good job, you know. You know, when you go to that rigid, my uh, rigid Gen 5X, you notice a big difference in weight. Um, good to hear, Ben, missing your content over. Oh, cool, man. Rob, Rob's Wrenches, what's up? I'm sorry, guys, I'm missing a lot of your. Oh yeah, sorry TiVo man. I I, I think it's twenty nine ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine. Again, you're getting the power source, you're getting a uh, a plug in, and you're getting a heavy duty three foot cord. Um, and this also can be used for your heated gear, but we'll we'll go over that. Abel, what's up? Have I tried the new Dewalt twenty volt XR seven? You tried it, Abel? How was it, bro? Yeah, I saw that. 
I don't even know if that's out yet. Is it able? I don't know if the XR7's out yet. And you guys hear about Bosch. Bosch surprised me a little bit. Bosch has a 7.3 amp hour um, slim battery coming out. And I think they're going to be using 21700 cells instead of the 2700 that a lot of them are using now. Um, not a lot. The DeWalt 6... six the DeWalt 20 volt 6 amp hours, the 2700. The core, I believe, is 2700. But they got a new 7.3 coming out at some point. Eno Lima. I was expecting some electrifying. Yeah, Hard Knocks. Check out Hard Knocks uh, channel. I actually watched him a couple nights ago. Uh, he did. He had a great. He did like an interview with uh, the Snapper guy there. When are you doing a video on the wrist? This light, I gotta do it. I know it's kind of just like a nice little shelf, but. Yeah, Diablo, I bring 462. Yeah, and and Enio, you tell them how much the 60 tooth blades are. Because sometimes they do have a deal on them. I, I've seen one, just one of the 60 tooth blades like on sale for like twenty four ninety five or nineteen ninety one of them. But, you know, once you start going into the 60, 80, you're going to be spending a lot of dough. And to be honest with you, with a circular saw... You know, 40, I think, is because, you know, when you, when you add the price and do the 60, yeah, 60 is good, uh, Hard Knocks is saying, yeah. I mean, for this price, we're going to just have it and have some fun. And I, I'll tell you what, if I really like it, I'm probably going to put one on the rigid uh, miter saw, and then I'll be ready to rock. But yeah, anyway, so I just want to let you know, because the, the 42 is good, man. It's a good blade. This is what I've been using, you know, for the last year, and I really like it. And like I said, $9.95, you're going to get two blades, five bucks a piece. It's not available yet. They do have some type of Diablo deal going on. I showed it yesterday at Home Depot. I think it was buy three blades, you get one free. So, I mean, it was okay. <clears throat> but Home Depot's really advertising the new uh, Demon Diablo blades. Again, Diablo's owned by Bosch. So, and I'll tell you, I've, I had a Bosch blade a while ago, and that was one of the, um, poof, that was a great freaking blade. Um, again, Lowe's used to carry, like, Bosch blades. It used to be Bosch, Irwin, DeWalt, of course, used to, like, be the big three at Lowe's. But once they built that depot, I was kind of done with the Lowe's. So I don't really know what's going on with the Irwin. I don't really see him too much at depot. But I could be wrong. But yeah, so just uh, yeah, comment below. Tell us what you like to use, what you've used, what you like better, what you don't like, stuff like that. Kind of get a little, little chit chat. And um, yeah, so that's about it, man. I figured I would uh, show you and tell you about a couple good deals that are going to be going on. One still might be going on, and one I'm sure will be coming up. And I, they, like I said, they do have the 60 tooth ones on sale. I don't know if they do it two for one though. But, and again, always feel free to comment. And if you see something that's awesome, let us know. And I will tell the masses of a deal. But, all right, Rob's wrenches. That's what I said. I knew I'd never know from that. That's what I said. Did you vac know the Makita has a robot vacuum? TiVo Man, yes. They have a bike. Makita has a bike. I was going to do a little video. Like, show you guys a video. This Makita, 36 volt, you put two of the 18 volt batteries in this bike. It's getting crazy, guys. It's getting crazy. I can't remember if I was live streaming or filming the camera when the taser was going. I'm pretty sure Bruce didn't taste his ball. Did Bruce man up and taste his... Oh, the tank. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, Makita has a bike, man. I think there's a couple of videos of it on YouTube. Actually, I know there is because that's where I saw it. 
but I did see it on Instagram first. But yeah, um, I'll try to put it up if anyone's interested. Yeah, it's a bike, man. It folds. I know it, it's not in new. It's not in the U.S. yet. I think it's in Europe, where they use bikes like they're going out of style, and like in Asia, forget it. You know, my buddy was telling me in South Korea. It's really weird. Real quick, I'll tell you a quick little story. I'm pretty sure it's South Korea, not North Korea, but there's like government owned bikes so you go to like a depot and there's like a hundred bikes and you can take the bike for free you don't own it and what they do is they take a bike they go to work or maybe they go grocery shopping or meet a pal they drop it off like in another depot and then when they need to take it's like you know it's like a yeah you take it when you want it you put it back and you're good it's like crowdsourcing, but only for bikes. So, pretty cool. But yeah, the bike thing. Um, TB delayed. Oh, they also have a mower. Yeah, they do. I have a 18 inch or I think a 16 inch. I'm looking to get that, but I think it's too late in the season. Maybe next year I'll get that Makita mower. A lot of people have been going nuts with the outdoor power equipment stuff so yep you're right hard knocks no doubt I'm still waiting to just get that notification on my phone I don't know if you guys have it but I don't know if it's like Yahoo or CNN you know I don't know I think it was built into my phone here but it always like has a big story once a day or two times a day it goes off but you know and it usually starts with like Trump like yesterday was Trump uh, declared whatever the hell that is DACA, uh, ban DACA, whatever the hell it is. But whenever I see that Trump, I'm just waiting. Trump nukes South Korea. But some crazy stuff's coming, and whoever is down south with that hurricane, I don't know what. Supposedly now it's turning a little bit more. That's doing one of these. Hey, the very first. What's up? I've seen that with the bikes, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty... I, I could be wrong. I might not be Korea. But I'm pretty sure it was South Korea. Could be like Singapore. Who the hell knows? But I thought that was pretty cool. Like, oh, in this country? Forget it. They'd be stealing those bikes, man. Chilling, man. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm still like... Uh, I don't know if I got allergies or something. Oh, TiVo Man had a tornado last night oh my goodness gracious i hope you're safe but thanks for coming in guys again just a short little vid kind of get some get some juice going in the comments and get your opinion on what you like and everything but i i think for the money um these diablo blades man they're freaking awesome and they last a long time you know, a lot of the blades that come with the stock circular saws, you know, and I'm sure this Milwaukee one is awesome, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, it's a 24 tooth, and that's usually what you get with these circular saws. And a 24 tooth is fine, believe me. But, you know, I just like these. I've been using them for a long time, and I'm going to continue to. Free trial offer. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Dale Hicks says, Diablo is for me. Marco Flores, you sound... Yeah, I have, like, a head cold. Uh, the weather's been, like, real shady. But um, I've had a headache, too. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sick, like, energy-wise. I'm just, like, congested one of those things. We have bikes that in Milwaukee, they're called Burbler. Are you in Milwaukee, Rob's Wrenches? I tell you, I was really impressed with that city, man. I mean, I had an awesome hotel. I was literally, literally right on the water. And, I mean, just a beautiful part. And then I walked up, you're like, those old brick taverns, those old bars that are just old Dutch. Uh, very, very underrated city. And I'll tell you, the most underrated city that I've been is Pittsburgh. Is freaking awesome, amazing, beautiful. One of the best skylines, I'm telling you. Once you go, there's one, 
like you go under there's a lot of like tunnels and bridges in Pittsburgh but when you go under this one tunnel and guys who've been to Pittsburgh or actually live there and I, I don't know what way I was coming from because it ain't always I always don't come that way but this one time I came like into a tunnel you're under like a little highway and there's really no traffic in Pittsburgh I don't know what's going on I mean I'm sure there is but I just didn't see it when I was there I didn't see it but it's just like you come out of this tunnel and epic epic all right let me get out of here rob's wrenches loves pittsburgh i was in born in pittsburgh dale hicks newcastle pa look at all these good bubblers but rob wrenches you're in dale hicks allergies are kicking in pa yeah i'm right next to you dale thanks for tuning in hard knocks johnny burkett drive there for work oh johnny's in pittsburgh or milwaukee Man, a lot of Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh type people. It's funny because I always mention a city and it's always like, Rrr. I remember I brought up Omaha, Nebraska and like Chris Jones and some other guy and some other guy. Oh, yeah, I'm in Nebraska. All good. Yeah, I'll, I'll be on. I don't think I'll be on anymore today, but I got to do a video of um, a screwdriver. That got sent to me, the Rolo gear. So, oh, Morgantown, West Virginia. That's a, you know, it's not far, but it's pretty far. What are you, like 30, 40 miles from Pittsburgh, Johnny? That might even be more than that. Hard Knocks has been in Omaha a few times. It's nice. Yeah, man. I haven't been there. But everybody I know who's been in Omaha has said nothing bad. I heard Lincoln's even better than Omaha. But, um,. Oh, okay, 70. So, yeah, that's a little hike there. You got the big Pitt versus West Virginia football rivalry. What's it called? The, the, the I forget what it is. Some kind of, some kind of big, big now. Yeah. But, all right, boys, I'm out. Be good. Be safe. God bless you. Peace.